Jason from Epic Bay Molds came up to help me release and do a video on the 5.2 inch Epic Stickle 4 cavity brand new mold. Look at that. Comes with a tail cavity in the mold. Don't have to buy two molds. Shoot eight tails in one shot. Then there's four stickle cavities. Pop them off, put them in. Remember your warm oil lube. The officialness of this mold has been thoroughly proven throughout this video. This is a seriously official bait. Long skinny shad body with a tickly tail on the end. <laughs> I mean, how could it not be? Tons of detail, tons of venting, tons of renditions. How many times? I can't remember off the top of my head. Jason ended up laboring over this design for quite a while. Thinning it out, changing ports, changing things to get it to work good. It works great now. What you end up getting out of these molds is like that, see that ridge throughout that tail? A little extra support centered through that. A bit bulbous and thick there on the end. So there's a ton of uh, material to grab those tails. You don't have to shoot the tails and place them in the mold. You can just shoot the shickle cavity and it fills the tail out. The laminations go all the way through the tail and curl back up. It's pretty sweet. You'll see. It's got a head on it that accepts a lot of different size jigs. Just a do it all kind of bait. So the bait weighs 0.2 ounces with nothing on it. Just under quarter ounce. Four and a half inches with the tail curled up 5.2 inches with it out and swimming in the water. I designed it to catch walleye, but obviously its limitations are not confined to just catching walleye. It caught a lot. Off the top of my head, it caught six different species this video. You'll see. We shot the tails this time, awesome. Glaring straight back into the lens, you can't see anything. Like, look at the, oh, the yeah. reflection or whatever. You can see the bait cavities. Whoa! That's some RTB roll. Probably go to the river. We're just gonna park right here. Oh, I got a fish. Easy peasy. Got a little walleye? Walleye and tug or a walleye, right? That's a walleye. You caught a tiny, <laughs> tiny walleye. That's all. Let me get a close up before you release that real quick. That's your first walleye? Yeah, man. Wow. Oh. Is that a fish? Oh. My oh, God, that's a fish? No. Something took that like into some structure or something. Like, it was tug, 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 and then it was snagged. Did you throw that in? Swing by and grab the chunk mold and make them some of those, too. Oh, yeah. This has got the most insane body roll of any bait that I've ever used. Really? Sweet. I like that. I've never fished that one. I didn't even know it was a thing till SDG posted something. I'm like, I thought I knew about every mold Epic had. No, nope. you always got more hidden, <laughs> hidden old, old gems. The archives. Yeah, Did you catch anything? I caught, as you guys pulled up, I just caught one down there. Okay. Thing. I do you, know. Do you want a stickle or anything? Yeah. Woo! It's official. First fish, but probably won't be the last that I've caught on the stickle. It's official. Pond bass like stickles. <laughs> be free. It's so hard not to fish every inch on the way to somewhere you want to get to. Dude, it's deep right here. I'm still sinking. What, what the heck? Does fluorocarbon sink? Yeah. Okay, maybe it's just that. I'm not used yeah. to it. Okay, it's not that deep. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm still sinking. It's like dark out. Yeah. Got it? Okay. On the stickle! Yeah, that, that was the technique. Like, don't do anything and just kind of bounce it on the bottom. It's official again. Be free.
I think it's a bass. They are not biting very well today, but this one bit. That's a better bass. A little better bass on the stickle. It's official. Be free. Alright, we've been shooting and fishing and demolding. This is going to be a cool one. See what, how that did that? The, the bottom was pink, but now it's iridescent white. Oh, there it's pink again. You think you think the top's brown? I guess it kind of stays. I thought it was gonna go purple. I guess it kind of stays brown. <laughs> like, what is going on with that? Looking incredible. Got like a chameleon brown, super neon chartreuse, like an earthworm pearl white. Triple. Does it triple inject? I'm seeing three colors laminated together. There's the pearly earthworm, translucent chartreuse all the way through the body. And then that chameleon brown. Those are quite intense. That fluorescent chartreuse. Triples are looking pretty sweet. They won't come out with just absolutely, you know, the crispiest of laminations you've ever seen because the shape of this body does not lend to that. But it does triple, I'd say. You got a color on top, you got a color in the middle, and you got a color on the bottom. And it blends pretty crazy. Really, you get the middle color all the way out to the tail with some blending. Like you can see uh, some pearliness on the bottom part of that tail, clear chartreuse. And then some of that brown on the top. So you do get the lamination somewhat all the way out, but that middle color is gonna be pretty prominent all the way out to the tail. You can see a thin little line of brown on the top of the way back here. It thins out. Looking sweet. It's Jason from Epic Bait Molds. He's here with me to absolutely destroy these fantastic fish in the best pond in the world. As you can see, he's got a net this time. We're good. What if I just throw one of those with a jig head on? We got another secret bait in the works. That's what we're discussing. Who's throwing what? FG knot. Test pull. Oh, this feels like summer. Let's get to that point over there. Is it a monster sunfish? Oh. Perch. Got a perch already, first cast. What? <laughs> this is my first perch. Wowzers. Beautiful. I go. Oh no. On the stickle. It's a bass. Oh, you know, just a normal bow joints and bass. Oh my god. No big deal. Dude, that's a beast. Woo. Probably three. That's awesome. It's official. Big bass like the stickle. It's good to check off the list. <laughs> Be free. Gave my hook a bit of a bend. Woo! I've never caught a crappie out of here. Really? Yeah. Beautiful. Crappie. Nice. <laughs> little sunfish. Chunky one. They get to be like dinner plates in here. Fish. Yeah, that's Look crazy. That beast. Wow. Look at that fin back here. Got Whoa. chopped at some point. That's crazy. I got a picture of this beast. If I could just have a pond full of these fish. Oh, yeah. Stickle. Fish on. Fish on. What is this? Yeah, might want to net that one. Oh, <laughs> that's a big one. That's a bass? That's a bass. Dude. <laughs> On the stickle. 
<laughs> That's a good fish. Glad we got that one. They're a little slower today, but that thing bit. Good fish. No scale. Oh well. Be free. Oh, trout. That's a trout? He's got a trout. What? That's going to be floppy as heck. Yeah, get the net because I don't want to touch it without. I want to kill it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> floppy do doodle. Okay. I got some video. Woo! That's a good one. Perfect. Yeah. Man. Dude, you got a trout too. That's savage, dude. That's like eight species on this bait. Yeah, that's like big. Gotcha. I don't think this is as big. Oh. oh. A walleye. A walleye? We got a walleye on the stickle. That's why it felt like a stick. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I set the hook like a bass master on you. Walleye on the stickle, it's official. Walleye like the stickle. Be free. <laughs> hey, you let him have that. I saw you, I was like, oh God, it's a big fish. <laughs> Got my one ounce bait caster rod, just loaded him up on that little walleye. <laughs> I know, you actually like bent that thing on that guy. He's like, oh God. <laughs> I guess I'm being caught. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the best pond ever because it has everything. Yeah, perch, walleye, Literally, trout. Like, Crappie, big bluegill. Dang, that's kind of walleye. Oh, you got a sunfish. Any guy. Oh, good fish. It's a really, it's a good one. What is this? It, this might be a muskie. It's like peel and drag. That or a catfish. Stay down, stay on. This is a good fish. Don't throw it. I want this fish. Woo! Yeah, this might be a musky catfish. Feeling like a catfish now. It's got a lot of power. Might be albino. There's albino ones in here. What? Yep. Yep. Oh! <laughs> we got the target species. I'm gonna bring it in. You get that net under it. Woo! Oh my gosh. That's a pretty good wiper. Like, look at that. Dude. It's official. Huge wiper. <laughs> like the stickle. We did it. That's what we came here to catch. And it happened. Wow. What a fish. Dude. That's insane. It's Dude. official. I don't know how much that weighs, but I'm happy with that. Be free. Ooh, kind of shaky. Yeah, when you feel a fish pull that much, you're like, is it a catfish? Is it, <laughs> is it, a, is it a muskie? So it's been a perch, sunfish, bass, walleye, wiper. Trout. Uh, trout. Is that six? Oh. Gotcha! Nice. Oh my goodness. It's moving. Swimming towards me a bit. Got it? Another big bass. It's official. That was a very hard fighting bass. Be free. There could be the pet catfish right there too, who knows. Woo! Oh. Yeah, you found it. All right, I'll help you. Careful with that one. How big it is. <laughs> it's a big bass. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Four pound test. No, oh, no, no. I think it's a floating dock, so you're good. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, wait, wait. Oh got my gosh. You caught a big one. Dude. <laughs> On that little tiny right this, there. This may be the biggest bass. Look at that. Dude, that is incredible. I know when you're fighting bass in this pond, it's like that could be a catfish. Like yeah. if it fights like that, you know? Yeah. It stays down.
go to bjpond.com. If your interests align whatsoever with needing a pond well managed, you need anything for a pond, go to bjpond.com, Bajorshan Pond Management. Aeration pumps, fish attractants, fish feeders, fish food, fish stocking, vegetation control, traps, docks, swim pads, paddle boards. What do you need? Maybe you need that truck to pull up with that trailer and shoot a bunch of fish into your pond. Sounds good to me. They specialize in initial pond stocking, corrective pond stocking, even forage fish stocking. Kevin really knows what he's doing. Proof is what you just watched. Hey, honey. Yeah. They're heading to the park now. Oh, okay. One sec. I'm shooting a little bit of video. I'll, I'll finish up here. I gotta go pretty soon. Anyway, thanks Kevin for letting me fish at your pond. It's like the best place ever to fish. You need work done on your pond? BJPond.com. Contact Kevin. Thanks. Super shooper. Fluorescent chartreuse. Fresh out of the tail mold part. Slide them straight into the tail. I just put a bit of warm oil on the mold. Helps them slide into place nicely. Even that little ridge that goes down the middle helps it slide into place nicely. Came out half and half. Look at those. You can really see that chameleon purpley pink. Especially from that direction, the top goes brown. That's nice. That is good stuff that's gonna catch me fish. Spencer from River Certified took me out on his boat on the Mississippi River. My brother Wes, Jason, and me, and Spencer, four dudes, in a big boat all morning, casting away. I fished with the shtickle the whole time. They were fishing with some other stuff. Jason fished with the shtickle a lot too. We did all right, you'll see. Thank you, Spencer, River Certified. Apple stud muffin bucket on the river. He knows what he's doing. Go check out his channel, linked below. Woo! Oh, Slick swim. You have a net? What you are. It's a walleye. It's a walleye. Woo! Oh man, he smacked it. You got dinner. We or got dinner. Nate was nice enough to bring me, Nate and Jason. Did you help pour these too? That was all me. I know. <laughs> oh, I mean, thanks, Nate. <laughs> You're welcome. So it's super expensive. Oh, oh! oh! Jason got one. On the shtickle? Shtickle, yeah. Get the net! On the shtickle? It's about to get official on the shtickle. <laughs> 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 it's a drum. Hey, I'll take it. It's been eating mussels because his, his little butt hole sticking out. Oh, oh, it's been pooping out shells. It's a great narration for the video. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Don't do it. It's official. Yeah. On the nice. shtickle. If it'll catch drum, it'll catch walleyes. Let's <laughs> hope so. Jason has another on. Drum? Got a walleye. Yes! <laughs> a good one. Dude, that's a beast. Good job, Jason. Yes. There you go. Mike will get the good video. Yeah, there you go. We're going to eat it. Don't worry. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> He's got chunky. Yeah, that's nice. He's thick. Going to get a good play off that. Yeah. That's, that's dinner if I ever saw it. Yummy. Oh my goodness. Good walleye too. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get your oh, limit. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting attacked by walleye. <laughs> Let's hopefully, hopefully he's under 20. It'll be 19 and a half. Oh, that's close. Oh, <laughs> it was close. Less is more. We're doing good. Yeah. You guys are going to be eating like kings. We caught some white bass after that, added it to the white cooler, bass. had a fish fry. Didn't take any video of that, sorry.
That was a chair, I didn't fart. Jason and Amanda and their kids stayed at our house for like Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Too. Over four days, doing as much fishing and family time and activities as possible over the span of that four days. It was quite epic, had a great time. Thank you, Jason and Amanda. They didn't just bring up the 5.2 inch epic stickle four cavity. They brought up another. There's a super secret hint right there, this. It's what Jason caught the trout and perch and stuff on. Did I just show what it was? Cover that up, oh my goodness. Anyway, we all had the time of our lives. The time of our lives. There's all the kids' plates. They were eating that fish we caught. Delicious walleye. Surprisingly good walleye. Thank you, Nick, from the bait cave. Nick literally cleaned and fried all the fish for us, so thank you, Nick, too. Anywho, I went out one more time to fish with the shtickle by myself at one of my favorite spots to fish and one of my favorite times of the year to fish other than spring, I like spring better than fall, and caught some special fish. The 5.2 inch Epic Stickle is available right now at epicbaitmolds.com. You need Pyrex cups, you need a microwave, you need Plastisol, you need the additives, you need an injector with the lamination blocks or you can just shoot one color, one injector. I got a triple, a vise, some clamps, maybe some gloves so you don't burn your hands off. And you just adopted the most addicting hobby ever, shooting your own baits, pouring your own baits. You're welcome. Enjoy. Epicbaitmolds.com. Go get your molds. I'm going to give you a premature on to the next bait. And it's going to cut to me fishing my favorite fishing spot. Thanks for watching. One more attempt. A little dash of chartreuse with the natural triple injected. Fish on. I think we got a walleye. Finally, I caught a sweet freaking walleye that looks like it's been chomped really hard at one point in its life, but healed. On the shtickle, it's official. Or is this a sauger? This might be a sauger. It doesn't have a white tip tail. Maybe shogger, like the shickle. Be free. Sogai, the Sigoinier. I felt the tap. We got one. Another one. Feels like another one. Yeah. This one looks more like a walleye. Yeah, it's got all the white. Woo! That's a walleye, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a walleye. The other one was a sauger. Had to have been. It's official. I like stickles. Yum, yum, yum. Be free. Ooh, that, that was a fish. Whoa, that was off of a snag. This doesn't feel like a walleye. <laughs> Dude, this is a super, super official bait. When it comes to number of species that have been caught. Flathead. Really, really, really pretty flathead. Oh my goodness. Like the shtickle. That was a good catch. We're doing pretty good here. Jig heads, I don't, there ain't a jig head in my box. But yeah, you can have that. You sure? Yeah, no problem. I'm, I'm almost headed out and I'll be shooting more. I'm gonna head up that way and fish a bit more. Hey, I appreciate it. Yeah, later. Yep. All right. What do you catch there? Uh, I got a sauger, a walleye, and a flathead. A walleye, no kidding. Yep. Whoa. Nothing, nothing too big though. Not very big? No.